Hi everyone, Coach Steve here. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to synchronize your Training Peaks calendar with your personal calendar, be that an Outlook or GCal. As everyone knows, we've got lots going on. Having everything in one single place will make life a lot easier. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some bonus time management tips to, with this new setup that will make you even more productive and help you hit more of those training sessions. So let's get to it. And um, first off, okay, so... So we'll look at GCAL and Outlook. Um, first off, first step is you have to find your Training Peaks calendar URL or unique identifier that shows you where that links to your calendar in your Training Peaks account. Okay, so you'll be able to see all this good stuff when you need to bike, when you need to swim, etc. Um, how we do this is we open Training Peaks, we look for Settings, Account, Calendar. Uh, you will see in an, a workouts URL. This is a .ics um, file type. I'll show you how you actually see do this in Trainee Peaks. So you go to um, your name in the top right corner when you log in, Stephen Moody for me, and then you will click on settings, which will then allow you to scroll down um, and you'll be able to find under calendar, you'll have this URL, as I said, is a .ics file. That's essentially what you're going to tell Google and Outlook to pull in via the internet into your calendar so you'll have everything in your Outlook of using it or GCAL. Great. So we now have the Training Peaks info. So how do we add that to Outlook? Um, okay. So for Outlook 2010 Plus, you will be going, you'll click on Home. I'm going to show the, video, the screenshot this now. You'll click Add Calendar. You'll choose from the internet. And then you'll just copy and paste in that URL we've already picked up from Training Peaks. Okay. So what does that look like? So here is the menu bar. And you can see here you've add calendar, which will give you the drop down from these options here from address book from what is it? We click on from internet. And then we just paste in the URL we've taken from Training Peaks in here, click OK. And that will combine your Outlook calendar and your Training Peaks calendar all in the one place. So you can see whether you need to drop the kids to school or you have the swim set, etc. Makes life a little easier. OK, for those who use Google or GCAL, you can do the exact same. And um, this is the steps here. You will um, look in the other calendar section of GCAL. And um, you will click on the add link, click add by URL, and then you enter in the training piece URL, and then it will combine the two calendars. Again, what does that look like in terms of look and see? And um, here's what it looks like for your standard um, GCAL. Here's the other calendars here. You click on that little X there. That will bring up this option here. And again, it's from URL you pull in. And then you copy and paste in that um, the ICS file we've taken from Training Peaks. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you a couple of time management tips that will actually, now you've got this set up all in one place. How can you maximize this to, was it mean that you miss very few training sessions and you keep as consistent as possible? Um, but before we do that, a quick polite ask if you would like to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to use Training Peaks how to use Garmin, how to use, how, and training, travel and training in general. I do a lot of content, so please uh, subscribe there. And if you're finding this useful, please give it a thumbs up. I much appreciate it. Okay, so bonus tips for when you're, now you have this calendar set up for Training Peaks. Um, one of the key things you can do is use your time uh, wisely and how we can do this. A lot of people don't realize this, but you can actually enter in your time now in here. So if you've got a 50 minute run with efforts and you plan that, do that lunchtime, you can actually use the drop down time now of whatever, 12.30 to 1.30 that you're going to do it. And that will also synchronize nicely with your Outlook and GCAL. So we'll actually, you'll see it. Okay, I have enough time to get that in. That's not a clash with my meeting. So use the actual time rather than just dropping in the session as a day session. Um, another great session is keep the family in the know. Um, and by doing this, you can do something similar in the sense that you can set up a 
shared calendar, a family calendar, so people can see what your races are um, before people book holidays or agree to weddings um, in the south of France. You go, well, actually, I'm doing Ironman Hamburg that weekend. We can't. Or like, so if, or when you know that um, you're always doing your long bikes, that's on that day. So if the shared calendar, if you set it up in Google, people can put things in and you can juggle family, friends, commitments a little bit better and not kind of be coming home to uh, all picture, no sound. Okay, guys, those are the tips. And that's how you synchronize your calendar um, in Outlook or GCAL with Training Peaks. Make sure you have it all in one place. I um, hope you found that useful. Again, please subscribe if you did um, or like if you did. And uh, keep an eye out for more great content from Smart Endurance Solutions. Have a great day.